Hi everyone, Night Raid Gaming here with episode 4 of Return of the Kings. We are 0-1, losing a tight game to Detroit. Still looking for our first win. We're hoping to take it against Calgary, who are competitive this year. Um, very defensive team. And I thought, let's make some changes to our line here. So I moved some people around. Tanelli and Rubatol, I've switched them around. Uh, Two-way forward. It's not a bad role, but it's a little awkward. It's kind of like a, a very conservative role where he's, you know, trying to split between offense and defense. For Our first line needs to be our scoring line. So Luke Robitaille's brought up to the first line. Uh, I've changed him to Dangler. Gretzky's been switched to speedy forward. Uh, Dino is now sniper. And I think the re our defense here is the same. Tonelli now in the second line still has two-way forward. Nichols is going to remain as a sniper. Contest is a playmaker. And I've changed uh, Laidlaw into a crease-clearing uh, defenseman for us here. Notice that a lot of opponents are crowding our goalie. So hopefully these guys can crack some skulls and knock them out of the way. Uh, for our third and fourth line, these guys are not good enough to score. So I've changed them more to fighting kind of roles. So we have aggressive four checker now. Uh, counter attacking afforded it's the most offensive thing we have. And grinder now have Fenton as a screener. Let's see how that works. Um, Fenton's not really good at anything. Grant's just going to be a grinder, and Duguay is a playmaker. Not great, but probably better than anything else he can be. Kennedy's also going to be our second crease clearing defenseman, and Duguay, strangely enough has a goal he had a goal in the detroit game so i'm going to keep him on point shooter i'm also considering when do shane is 100 percent do we move mcsorley to the offense possibly which is what uh the kings did in real life so we might take advantage of that not sure about that we did sign uh just some dork tom mccarthy nobody special we just signed him it's not really good at anything, but currently trying to see if I can trade him to Toronto with some picks to maybe add another three-star guy, two-and-a-half-star guy to our lineup. Just someone else who can score some points. Um, so we'll see with that. That's heading to Toronto as they're thinking about it. Um, but I think that's about it here. Our Harmony... Is getting a little better we're acceptable now so the team is getting it together a little bit quicker than i thought plenty of leaders and popular players really the only outspoken guy here is dino but we knew that when we signed him uh as long as he aims the trash talking more at the other bench than our bench i don't think we're gonna have a problem uh dale de gray has a goal bernie nichols has a goal gretzky is leading with two assists and two points and we're ready to play against Calgary, who are 1-0. Wamsley's going to be in the net. Doug Gilmore, uh, their star center here. Plenty of players are playing well on Calgary. Only uh, Berzin and McDonald is cold for them. Grant, Fenn, and Contest is cold for us. Um, we destroyed them 10-2 in preseason. But that doesn't mean anything now. This is the regular season. Wamsley is hoping to not give up anywhere near 10 points. King's trying to kick up their offense. As once again, we play at the forum. Looking for the first win. They weren't destroyed in Detroit. It was an overtime game. But at the end of the day, Detroit took the dub. And so now the Kings are looking to get their first win of the season. Get the season back on track. Get right back into it in this deadly division. As Gretzky screws up the face off already. And the game starts. Puck is out of play here. 
Gretzky and Gilmore facing off. Calgary gets the puck. As the Kings is two on one early, but that's broken up. Crossman passing it to Luke Robital. Is Gretzky's driving down the middle, giving it to Dino. Gretzky's trying to get into position. Plenty of white jerseys. Don't know where the rest of the Kings are. As forty three takes a long shot at it, almost from the center ice. Ramsley easily makes the save. As Casey has had a few good games this season. But still not quite up to shape. Especially against Detroit. 23 shots. Gave up three goals. It's looking for a better performance out of him this game. They're going to need it if they're going to stay competitive this year. The Kings... Uh, Calgary trying to get a little offense going here. As the Kings make a line change. But Casey makes the stop easy. Gretzky with the face offs loses the puck. Calgary trying to get 28 in position. Very dangerous. Robotol getting it to Gretzky. Driving up the center of ice. Taking a shot. Gretzky playing a little faster than he was in the last game. Trying to go for his breakout, trying to see if he can take it, catch the defense off guard, take advantage of his speed more than his shooting here this round. See if that can't help this offense find its way as we're already six minutes down. There's a long shot from the blue line. Casey easily gobbles that up. Tom Laidlaw, recent signing by the Kings free agent kind of signed this guy off the street he got dressed and he's ready to play uh first met the team yesterday night landed in la and he's suited up and he's playing uh as mcsorley back there defense expect him to throw a few punches this game and there's another shot luke robotol gets the puck from gretzky Robotol moved to the second line. Seeing if maybe that can't be a little more useful as Dinan gets a penalty here. Power play for Calgary. Penalty. Penalties killed the Kings last game against Detroit. Calgary doesn't have the offense here, but that doesn't mean you can sleep on them. 12 looks unmarked. There's a Block and a fight. Al McInnes gets into it with 26. There's hooking by Crossman. These teams do not like each other. It's a five on three. King coach yelling at the ref, asking for an explanation here, but um, they don't want to hear it. As McSorley's moving back towards the net. Trying to help his goalie. It's 20 more seconds till the Kings get another man on the ice. Robotol, the lone man, takes a shot even. It's now it's 4v5. Gretzky back on the ice. Robotol, lone man, has the puck by himself. His team's not in any position to help him right now. Halfway through the period. McCrimmon gets the puck, passing it up forward to his offense. Gretzky playing back as Casey makes another stop. A deflection and another shot. That's interrupted. Number three, looking for someone to get open. He just takes the shot himself. 27 with a rebound off of Wamsley's stick. He's right there in front of the net. Takes a right corner shot. That's a goal by Tonelli. As assist by Crossman. Gretzky, of course, involved in the play. And Wamsley's just shaking his head right now. Can't believe that that got in there. It's a bad bounce of the puck, but the Kings will take it. Luck is the residue of design, and he was right in front of the net where he wanted to be. Calgary charges the net, but they're cleared off. Tonelli. 
on the left side. He's been moved up to the first line. He's carrying the puck, seeing if anyone else can help him. Bruce is in the center. But nothing there. As McSorley now back on the ice. Calgary needs to keep their head on the swivel. As long as McSorley's on the ice and be careful how they handle Gretzky. Can't sneeze on him without major retaliation. Very difficult to handle a player like Gretzky when you really can't even sneeze at him funny without losing an eye. As there is icing by Roberts. Bruce takes the face off. McSorley takes a shot that's easily blocked. Quick dive by Calgary's man. 93 moving up. As the Kings very active with the pass. Bruce driving it up center. Trying to catch his Calgary defense off guard. There's a sh long shot there. Helped by his man Benning Wamsley. Easily stops that. Calgary's got to be a little bit careful not to screen their own goalie here. Gretzky with a face off wins it. Unfortunately, that pass is lost. Kuchelensky. Moving the puck up as the Kings are not afraid to just try to drive it through straight through the Calgary men. If they have to check you to get the puck up the ice, they will. Nichols with the faceoff loses it here. Two minutes left in the period. Kings are up 1-0. It's a better start than Detroit, but still feels a little slow for their standards. There's a shot and two shots there. Casey is surrounded by two men. They still have the puck. They can't stop it. Shot after shot. Blocked by Casey. Brilliant performance. He's using every part of his body. His legs, arms, stick. I think that even went off his mask at one point. But it's not in the net. That's all they care. Gretzky with a face-off against Gilmore. Doing a bit better this game. Iserman absolutely dominated Gretzky in the faceoff. Hard to win a game when you can't win any of those. So Kings looking to improve upon that. Gilmore's good. But Gretzky so far holding his own. As McSorley takes another shot and Calgary dives to the ice to block that. McSorley taking another shot. He's known as an enforcer, but he's not afraid to shoot the puck himself. Has an unusual hockey stick compared to his teammates. Looks a little curvier than normal, um, which might be an, off an offensive weapon kind of move, but doesn't seem to affect the shot much. Wamsley makes another save. Crossman recovers the puck, passes it up to Nichols. Tonelli going up with Nichols. Another nice shot right down the center. Wamsley is able to save that. Nichols tried to get him off guard with the quick wrist shot. Calgary moving into position seven, pretty dangerous. That's broken up. And the puck is over the glass. Gretzky now off the ice. But Dino is out here for LA. Hasn't out the first shot, I believe, for Dino of this game. Kings passing the puck around a little bit more. Letting everybody get opportunities here. Maybe not so reliant on Gretzky to do everything this game. As 28 loses the puck. And now we have a one-on-one. -on -one. Luke Robitaille. Nice shot, but that's easily blocked by Wamsley. As Dean Kennedy is penalized with the slashing here. It 
Tonelli has the puck. Uh, Kings really love to push the envelope in terms of contact in these games. Oh, and just over the top of the net. Bounces off the top of the goalpost. Unsportsmanlike conduct by John LeBlanc. Shoves Tonelli into the boards. As he was behind the net. A four on four. McSorley moving back. A 25. Gives him a quick shoulder check. Misses. Way wide. Gretzky. And Nichols. Passes it up. Nothing there. Kings still have 30 seconds of a power play left. Can they get anything out of this? Dino's on the ice. He gets the pass. 82 with a shot. Easy block by Wamsley. Dino with the faceoff gives it to Nichols. Tonelli takes a long slap shot. Wamsley with a nice save. Deflected off his stick. Dino one on one. And another great save by Wamsley. Deflected off his glove. Dino is kicking himself. McSorley's letting opponents get around him. Uh, you can play a little more conservatively. As another shot comes in. McSorley right in the mix of things. There's a trip. But Krzyzelenski... Looks like he was trying to, to get the puck, not the player, but if your stick gets in between the states and causes somebody to fall over, you're going to get called on that. Tonelli is racing. He's got a breakaway. Wamsley, absolutely brilliant. Stopping that again. Dropping down. Blocking the low shot by Tonelli. 28 coming up the side. 12 is uncovered. It's a two-on-one. But stopped by Casey. As Calgary have 30 seconds of a power play. A three on one. What is going on? Casey surrounded. But another brilliant save. A long swipe with a stick. Breaks it up. How he got away with that. Nobody knows. It's another breakaway by Calgary. Once again. Kings might need to increase their back checking here. Keep getting caught out. Calgary playing fast. Skating hard. The pace is off the charts as Gretzky's trying to get open here. Can't get anything. No one else to help him out. McSorley gets the puck. Passes it to Tonelli over to 15. Quickly loses it. 93. Has some space here. As the puck is lost to the corner. Kings chasing behind Calgary once again. Steenan passes it up to 26. You got Nichols in the center. Kings finally backing up. Oh, and just almost stopped. Dead right in front of the post, right in front of the goal. There's a long shot that could have easily went in. Casey almost knocked it in accidentally himself with his own skate, but he catches it. Another shot by the Kings. Rubital on the right side. As Calgary's got a 2v1. Casey with another brilliant save. Calgary cannot get anything past Casey right now. Kings getting away with murder. With the mistakes on defense. Don't seem to be knowing who they're supposed to be covering. Letting guys slip past them incessantly. Might be over committing here. And Calgary is trying to punish them as Gretzky is taking another shot. Easily blocked. Lots of sticks. Down in front of the Calgary net. 
King's going to have to aim high if they want anything in. That's way too high. Loot Rubital over to Dino. Brilliant play. But Wamsley's ready for it. Could easily be 5-0 for the Kings. But Wamsley's playing out of his mind. Calgary could easily have two or three goals in this game. Luck is on the King side as much as anything else, as well as Casey's play. Tanelli with a shot almost from the blue line. Kings are making Wamsley earn his money tonight. As another stop. Almost the end of the second period. Rapid fire game. As Tanelli helps Casey stop that puck. 10 driving it up. 20 seconds left. 10. Can the Kings get anything going? And that's the end of that. Dan Granton doesn't know what he's doing, but he got it now. Uh, still attacking aggressively. No, we don't want to let off. We're out shooting. Back checking's already up. Casey with a 91 rating, having an absolutely brilliant game. Wamsley with a 91 himself. Both goalies playing absolutely fantastic. You got to be stunned to believe this is only a 1-0 game. Tonelli's playing pretty solid. Have a nice game from Crossman and Gretzky so far. Uh, Lube Gilmore also playing well. Kings up only 1-0. Lots of offense this game. But brilliant net minding from both teams. As the Kings are looking to get their first win of the season here. 0-1 in a tough division. Uh, Dana Merzen. Gets a penalty here. Power play for the Kings. Very dangerous as Dino Gretzky out on the ice. And the first line of the Kings gets a goal right away. Dino with an absolute monster slap shot. Wamsley, nothing he can do about that. That puck looked like it went 100 miles per hour into the net. No chance. As the only thing Wamsley could do, could turn around as soon as he heard the siren. He heard it before he saw that goal. And the Kings now have a 2-0 lead. 18 minutes left. Still plenty of time. Calgary finding themselves in a bit of a hole. Playing better than the first time that these two teams matched up where they let up 10 goals. But the Calgary... Offense, struggling to get anything together. They've had the opportunities, have not capitalized. Oh, as another close, dangerous shot by Carpenter. McSorley. He's backing up, playing a little smarter than you see him. Usually he's just punching any guy dumb enough to get in front of him, but he looks like he's biding his time. He's playing back a bit as Luke Robitaille. He's playing uh, conservatively this game. Helping out his defense. Dino hits the ice. An early fan favorite here in LA as he passes it to Gretzky, but he loses the puck. Merzen recovers here. And that's intercepted by Dino. Dino and Gretzky passing the puck back and forth. Dino takes a shot himself. As Wamsley deflects that. Flames are caught off sides. As Nichols takes the face off. Loses the puck here. McSorley moving back towards the net. And the Calgary scores. Three on one. Hitting the puck into the net. Slips between Casey's skates. Calgary was absolutely determined to get that in there. Casey deflected it once or twice, but just completely overwhelmed. As it's now 2-1, 13 minutes left. And this game is a lot closer 
than either team wants it right now. Calgary does not want to be behind a goal. Kings do not only want to be up by one. Great division game early in this season. Very competitive division. Calgary, Edmonton, Kings. All playoff favorites this year. As 10 moves into position 12 on the other side. Casey with a great block. Gretzky with a faceoff. Very dangerous. Can he pass it to Dino? Dino has the puck. Sends it back to McSorley. Who sends it back to Dino. McSorley looked a little surprised to be getting the puck there. Didn't look like he was ready for it. Gretzky moving back. As Luke Robital, Dino and Gretzky. Dino has the puck here. Gretzky, Robital off the ice. 32 and 10. 32 trying to move into position. 82 takes a long shot from the blue line. 82 with another distant shot. Letting Wamsley know he can't sleep for any second here. Sixteen moving up the right side. This might, I think this is the fourth line for the Kings right now. This Calgary is trying to move into position. Twenty-nine dangerously has a lot of space. Two men on the net trying to clear the crease. As it's another goal. Casey throws his glove up, not in time. As the Kings find themselves in a tie game. Cannot believe that Calvary, Calgary has brought this back. But it's 2-2. Two, two. Tanelli has the puck. Kings need to pick up the pace here. They've let their foot off the gas. And that's left the door open for Calgary to get back into this tie game. A great offense playing a great defense. Kings versus Calgary. And it's 2-2 right now. Oh, way wide. And there's another shot by nine. Nichols trying to get that in there. It's not enough. Six minutes left. Kings went into overtime against Detroit. Lost that game. Can't imagine they want to go into overtime again. For a second time already. Trying to get their first win. Trying to do it in regulation. Gretzky's on the ice. Dino. As Casey passes it off forward. Dino to Robotol. Gretzky with the face off here. And the puck is taken away. Five minutes left in this game. Robotol looking for Gretzky. Passes it. Gretzky's trying to move forward. He's covered. Calgary's ready. Robotol takes a shot himself. Another great save by Wamsley. Calgary anticipating Gretzky trying to break off. He's fast. But they're ready for it as Chris Contes gets an unsportsmanlike. Throws his glove under the mask of the Calgary defenseman. Looks like he maybe even spit at him. Refs calls him for unsportsmanlike. like the Kings are known to try to aggravate the opponent. Calgary has not been shaken this game. They've kept their cool. Despite all the provocations from Dino. And McSorley. Who do you want? The net is getting crowded. It's cleared off. 30 seconds power play. Left for Calgary. Two minutes left in this game. Gretzky has the puck on the right side, loses it, trying to move his defense into position. Gretzky commanding his team to get into their spots. The first line is back on the ice for the Kings. They lose the puck here, need a quick recovery. Dino and Robotol and Gretzky moving up the ice, passing the puck. One of them is going to take the shot. Dino takes it. Great save. By Wamsley. 
drops down quickly, blocks the putt with the puck with the pads, gets right back up. Kings couldn't do anything. Very dangerous with the first line. Any of those three players can score. Nichols has the puck here. 20 seconds left. It's number six takes it back. I'm sorry, 14 of Calgary. There's a long shot. Casey with the save. Two seconds. And we're into overtime for the second night at the Forum. Wamsley playing out of his mind right now. Brilliant third period performance. The defense of the Kings slipping up. Let Calgary back into this game. It's a second overtime for a team that wants to dominate the opponent offensively. Calgary has had the answers to contain Gretzky and Dino. Robotal taking a few shots as Calgary is coming back. Uh, let's just make sure bat checking is up a little bit here so we don't lose this game right away. McSorley takes the puck, passes it forward. Three minutes left in overtime. There's a shot. And let's play full tempo here as the Kings don't want this to go into shootout right now with how Wamsley's playing. Robotal with a great shot. Wamsley playing out of his mind. Nichols with a face off. 82. And another great save as that's gloved by Wamsley. Kings are trying to get past Wamsley's insane defense. They don't want to tie here tonight. Kings fans want to win. A tie right now would feel like a loss being 0-0-1 in this division right now with Calgary be being up 101. It's early in the season, but you do not want to be losing any points, especially against division rivals right now. In an absolutely stacked division with Edmonton as well. Not a team to sleep on. Even the Canucks are not an easy out. Winnipeg, also solid. As 16 is trying to get close to the net. There's hook. There's a hooking. Calgary gets a power play. 40 seconds left. Can the King survive this? Tonelli has the puck. Oh, loses it just right by the Calgary bench. Number two, 10 seconds. Don't think there's going to be anything left. And that's the end of the game. Oh, I'm sorry. There is no shootout. And the game ends 2-2. Two, two. Wamsley, Lube, LeBronc, Gilmore. Having great games. Casey, Gretzky, Robital, Tonelli, Crossman, Sicarelli, and Nichols. Also had good games. Wayne Gretzky's the first star of the night. LeBlanc, second star. Crossman, third star. And a close game. But the Kings just let that slip out of their hands. They had that game. Wamsley, perfect score. Ah, uh, absolutely brilliant game by him. Casey played very well, but Wamsley, out of his mind. Could have easily been 5-2. But the Kings have to take a tie here. And let's look at the standings right now. Kings find themselves in last place in the Smythe division. What an upset. Can't believe that they did not take the win there. Gretzky topping the NHL here tied for first with four assists. Better played game. At least the harmony is getting better. Is Wamsley st uh, Casey still ice cold? That can't be helping right now. Feel like we played that a little better. And we have a game versus the Islanders. Ruff still looking for a first win of the season here. Um, and the Islanders. Or a win on a yeah, Islanders, what are they? Fairly balanced. 
We'll see who do we find our win against. We have the Islanders, Boston, Flyers, Calgary, and Edmonton. I might come back for Edmonton. Got to see that grudge match uh, on the road. Might need to see a North Stars game because, hey, the North Stars still exist. But uh, the Kings have a lot to think about tonight. See if they like that plan. See if we need to make further changes. Hopefully DeShane is back sooner rather than later. They definitely need his help out there on defense. But folks, thank you for coming out tonight to the forum. And we'll catch you next time.